Okay, today we are making bookmarks. They are new to the shop. I just launched them last week. So this is new content, you guys. I've never seen me make bookmarks before, so stay tuned. Here's what we're working with today. We have five. They all have this like protective film on them. So I will go through and remove all of those on both sides. While I'm removing the protective film on all of these, I am going to be printing at the same time. So I'll show you little clips of that. Then we have to cut them all out. Okay, next we have to cut out our butcher paper. We need enough pieces to do the front and back of all the bookmarks. I'm gonna do that. And then after that, I'm gonna tape the bookmark image onto the bookmark and then we will press and do the back side. So let's go. Like with all sublimation, I would definitely recommend lint rolling to make sure there's no lint or anything getting within your design. Next, I'm gonna put a piece of butcher paper underneath and then a piece of butcher paper on top so that any ink does not transfer wherever I don't want it to go. And then you always face the design upwards so that the top of the press is pressing onto the graphic. Once these are pressed, you'll see me peeling them off. They are very hot, so definitely wear a heat resistant glove. And then we'll just be repeating the process on the back side. So we'll lint roll the back side, tape them back on, and then press them again with the design facing upward. I'm pressing these 350 degrees for 60 seconds. Once they're all pressed, we just have to attach the tassels. And then these are the final looks. What do you guys think? They are printed the exact same on the back, so I won't flip them for you, but they are double-sided. If you have a pet and you're a reader, would you be interested in these custom bookmarks? 